Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Okay, this is going to be a, two announcements. <laughs> two, two, and two. This is going to be a short vlog, probably uh, about a half an hour or less than, because um, I, Alex just got home and so we were sitting and talking and we ended up talking longer than I thought we would. So I was gonna try to make this about 45 minutes to 50 minutes, but um, I have to start getting ready in a half an hour because Alex is taking me over to Tawny Jeans and we're going to our home group tonight. And I don't want to vlog when I get home. I want to just be able to watch my shows and stuff when I get home tonight. <laughs> so I wanted to get this vlog done now. And the announcement number two is that I, unless I get home really, really early tomorrow, I have no plans on filming on, I have no plan to film on any of my, um, no plans, no plan. I have no plans to film on any of my channels tomorrow. Um, Caroline and I are having Cousin Fun Day tomorrow, and we are um, going out to brunch with our family friend that we were supposed to go to several weeks ago. I'm not really sure. She's picking the place where we go to brunch. So I don't know um, where we're going, but we're having brunch with her, and then Chris Caroline and I are going... I almost said Christmas. <laughs> Christmas and I... Caroline and I are going to run some errands and do some shopping and stuff like that. And then, um, tomorrow night, I have this thing that um, Caroline's going to, Alex and I are going to, um, so I have that to go to tomorrow night. So I don't think that I'm going to have much time to film tomorrow. Um, so I'm thinking about taking all of tomorrow off. Unless I would end up not running around that long and getting home in time to film like at least a vlog and then get ready to go tomorrow night to uh, the thing that we're going to. So um, yeah, so that's that. Um, and then I, you know, I keep on thinking that I want to, I know I say this every day in my vlog that I'm like going to take a day off and not film, but tomorrow I'm taking a day off and I'm actually like running around and doing all kinds of stuff. So it's not exactly like taking a day off and just relaxing and watching a bunch of shows and stuff. So I'm thinking about either Thursday or Friday taking that day off as well. If I do, I'll probably at least film a vlog, but I probably won't film on my other channels. Um, today, so I don't have tons to share with you guys because not tons has happened and I'll tell you why. So last night, um, Alex got home from dinner rather early and um, he was upstairs with Mr. Boo Radley. So I brought out some snacks and some things for dinner last night. I was gonna order something, but I ended up not ordering anything. Look at that dog howling somewhere. <sighs> oh! <laughs> anyway, um, so Alex was upstairs with Boo Radley. Talked to him for a while, got my stuff up, all that kind of stuff. And then I told him, I said, um, I was going to watch an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK and eat some stuff. And then I was going to lay down for like an hour and a half. And then I was going to get up and I really wanted to watch Dragula last night because it came on at midnight last night. I wanted to watch Dragula. I wanted to watch a little bit more of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. I have three episodes of um, 90 Day Fiance to watch <laughs> that I'm still trying to catch up on. Well, two and a half, actually. Because um, this week's last week's and then the week before that, I'm like halfway through it. And then also Below Deck Mediterranean was on last night. So I wanted to watch that. So I've got all these shows that I want to watch, right? And um, and now I found out today, this is my big announcement on my reality TV channel, that uh, Thousand Pound Sisters with Amy and Tammy Slayton is coming back December 12th. So uh, a lot of people have asked me to cover that show over there. So I'm going to start watching that. Um, I have four seasons I have to catch up on. <laughs> So I'm going to start watching that and my plan is to get completely caught up with all four of those seasons before December 12th when it comes back. I've actually, I took Winter House off my list and I took The Real Housewives of Potomac off my list. And so I think what I'm going to do is in January go back and start watching Real Housewives of Potomac, Winter House, Real Housewives in New Jersey, probably in December I'll start that one, things like that. Um, it's just too hard for me right now. I mean, I have like literally like 10 reality shows I'm trying to like watch at the same time, but also catch up on and watch. So 
Um, I don't want to continue to add things. You know, Big Brother just ended. What else? Something else just ended. New York just ended. Orange County just ended. But it's easier for me to add things I've already watched. Now, Thousand Pound Sisters is only four seasons, so that's pretty easy to catch up on. Um, but the other shows are like eight to 12, 14 seasons, so that's a lot harder for me to catch up on. That sounds like my neighbor's dog, but it sounds like really far away, so I don't think it's him. I don't even think... Yeah, it sounds really far away. It doesn't sound like that's in our backyard. I wonder whose dog that is. Kind of even sounds farther than our than our uh, than our neighborhood a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so uh, last night I watched uh, an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK, which I'm loving. By the way, it's the fifth season. I've watched all the other previous seasons. So I watched that last night, and then um, I feel like I'm not like super comfortable in this chair tonight. This chair doesn't, I found out like what is like missing because it was back there, did I tell you guys this? There's like a, what's the, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> the round thing with a hole in the middle of it, the, it's, it like goes in between two pieces. It like fell out or something happened with this chair and that's why it's not gliding, it's like sticking when it moves. So I'm gonna have to have Alex look at it because he's the one that put these chairs together. So, but anyway, so I watched that episode last night and then I went upstairs and I was laying there talking to Alex and like petting on Boo Radley and stuff like that. Well, I was just like laying there and I was so relaxed. And so I set my alarm for like an hour and a half. Um, I don't even remember what time it was, so I laid down. But it was earlier than usual. Well, I fell asleep. No, I don't even think I set my alarm last night, actually. I woke up, did I or didn't I? I don't even remember. But I woke up and it was like four o'clock in the morning. And I was like, oh my Lord. And I almost got up and watched some shows and I thought, no, just keep on sleeping. So I slept until like mid-morning. I think I got like 10 or 12 hours of sleep last night. I felt so rested when I got up today. I definitely needed it. Um, and like I said, not too long ago over here, like when I'm tired and I can fall asleep, um, I mean, this dog is going crazy. Did it stop? When I'm tired and I can fall asleep, I need to just go to sleep. Um, instead of like pushing through it just to watch a TV show or something. Cause I like really wanted to watch these shows last night. I it's going crazy out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think like when I'm tired and I can fall asleep, like I just need to sleep. Um, you know, and so I got up today and I felt very, very rested. Um, I kind of thought at first today that I wouldn't make videos, like for a second I thought it. And then I like looked at the clock and I was like, it's early. Like you can have some coffee, you can relax. Uh, called Tanya, talked to her on the phone, talked to my sponsor, or called my sponsor, talked to my sponsor for a long time last night. Um, caught up with her and, you know, did my prayers, meditations and all that kind of stuff this morning and gratitude list and then I was like okay well I'm gonna film a video and the first video that I filmed today actually was showing the new home for the plants in the bathroom so I showed that and then I filmed a Peterisms video second this was completely out of order of what I usually do and then I didn't really know what I wanted to do on my drama channel today like I knew I didn't want to talk about like super serious drama and all that kind of stuff so I put something up on my Instagram and I was like, ask me any questions, you know, or like, what do you guys want to talk about that's not super deep drama? And so I literally just like went through there. I filmed like a 44 minute video and I just out here and then it got really loud because the guys were like cleaning up the leaves. Um, I think I'm the last, these guys have worked so hard for like the last, last week and a half or two weeks. I think I'm the last yard they have. They started on the front, and the front is like they have half the yard done, and then they start on the back, and they have like half the yard in the back done, and then they just stopped again for today. So I don't, I guess my yard is like the very last one, so it's probably good that I'm taking tomorrow off anyway, because I'll be working on that. Um, I'm assuming, since they didn't finish it today, so I'm assuming they'll be back tomorrow. They come kind of come late in the day. They come like at two o'clock and they start doing it. So I don't know if they have other places that they're doing before they come here or whatnot, but um, these guys are different than the landscapers. These are like tree, like they're trimming trees in the neighborhood too and doing some stuff like that. They're super, super nice guys. They're really nice um, and very considerate too. 
And it was so funny because earlier I was talking to somebody, I was like, this is so funny, like my, like literally there is like leaves like that kids could like put into piles and jump into. And I was like, this is so funny, like mine, like every other yard in the entire neighborhood is like there's not a leaf in the yard, right? Like mine's the only one. It's so sad, I just like looked. It's like every leaf off of all the trees are down. I don't know if you can see this in the dark, but can you see that? It's like every leaf off the, all the trees are down. Well, I took, Boo, after they left, I took Boo Radley outside and he like just darted. He was like darting through the leaves and running through the leaves. And he was like jumping around in the leaves, playing in the leaves. It was so funny because it reminded me of like kids like playing in piles of leaves back in the day, you know, when we were growing up. And he was so excited. He was like running through the yard, running through the yard, darting around. Like he was like two years old again. It made me so happy. I was like, you know, dude, you are 14 years old, but you still got puppy in you a little bit, you know? So he was darting around, came inside, got some treats. He was so excited. Then Alex showed, uh, Alex showed up. <laughs> Alex showed up. Then Alex got home, and then he was, like, running around the house. And I was, like, sitting at the computer, and I go, I just took him outside. I said, he did his poops. He did his peeps. He was running around the yard. I go, can you feed him? He was like, yeah, sure. I said, because I had just cleaned up all the food because we put this food down. And he'll nibble a little bit here, eat a little bit here, eat a little bit there. But, like, he doesn't really eat much because he's addicted to these treats. He's obsessed with these treats. So that's all he focuses on is these treats, right? That dog is, like, howling. <laughs> it's not my neighbor dog because I can hear it louder when he barks. So, anyway, um... So, like, he had this food in his crate. He had, like, two different kinds of food that he just kind of, like, well, the one kind of food that was, like, the shredded chicken, he didn't try that at all. He was, like, not to be bothered with that, and that was on a plate. And the other one was just on the floor of the crate, and that's the one he kind of likes, so we're going to have to order some more of that. <laughs> that dog. It would be very peaceful if I wasn't trying to uh, share stories of my life over here while this dog was trying to share sore stories of his. <laughs> duo stories of our lives do you ever wonder like when dogs bark and stuff like what they're saying because are these little dogs down here that live like two condos down from us and when Alec or when Boo Radley is out um like they'll bark sometimes like Boo Radley's never seen them and I, they've never seen Boo Radley but like Boo Radley will be standing out in the yard and they'll start barking and then Al and Boo will like turn his head and then they'll stop and then Boo Radley will be like oh <laughs> and then they'll stop and he'll go and he'll bark back at him. Do you ever wonder, like, what dogs say to each other? I always wonder, like, what conversation are they having? <laughs> How are you doing down there? I'm doing good. Get me out of here. Please save me. You know, like, what are they saying to each other, you know? Dog talk. So, anyway, um... So yeah, so then Alex fed him some more, and he was down there for a while, so he must have e eaten. He seems to eat more when Alex feeds him than when I does. When I do, I don't know what that's saying. So, but anyway... So then I filmed the drama video. Oh, no, no, no. Then I did a review video of these PB&J sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that had been in my freezer that I had been, like, saving for a couple weeks that I wanted to review. I reviewed those. And then what did I do? Oh, then I did my Peter's Reality TV recaps and opinions about a Thousand Pound Sisters video. And then I came out here... Because I thought they were done with the yard, which they weren't. Um, and I start because they were down there working on the backyard, but I thought they were further down. And I started my drama video, but then I had to move inside upstairs to finish it because it was really loud out here. I actually sat at the computer for a while while I was getting these other videos up, and they were like working in the backyard and the whole house, like you could hear it. And I was like, I, there's not, I can't finish this video. I didn't think I was gonna be able to vlog because I was like, it is so loud, so I probably can't even, you know, vlog or finish this drama. I didn't know what I was gonna do with this drama video. So anyway, so yeah, and um, it's been a good day. It's been a, it's been a really good day. I felt relaxed and calm today. I drank a cup of coffee when I got up. And then I haven't had anything in a couple hours. And then I, during my drama video, I poured this Diet Coke. And I, like you can see, I've hardly drank any of it. So I got such good sleep last night. I don't know if it's because I'm used to taking the Trazodone. Like, I don't ever, like, I've heard a lot of people say that they feel like they're, like, they're hung over when they wake up from it. I don't necessarily feel that. I do feel something when I wake up. Like, today I woke up and I was, like, clear-headed. 
and I felt rested and I felt awake. I feel a little, like it takes me a little bit longer to wake up when I take the Trazodone. out. There's been a couple times I've woken up that I felt kind of hungover, but not so much anymore. But I didn't take the Trazodone out last night. I just fell asleep naturally on my own because I was tired. Didn't even drink any sleepy time tea or anything. Just ate, then went upstairs and was laying in bed talking to Alex and I turned the lights off and I, um, he was like playing his game so I turned the other way and I just like fell asleep. So, which is the best way to fall asleep, right? Naturally. Um, so yeah, I was actually gonna get up like really early. I think I woke up at like, well I woke up at like four something. I think it was like four o'clock, like right at four o'clock. It's like four o'clock or 401. And, um, but then I woke up again like, Alex left for work, I think, like, right at 7, 10 after 7 or something like that. And then I woke up and was, like, up, and I was talking to Boo Radley at, like, 7.30. And I thought, just get up now and start filming videos. You'll have your videos done. You can do a long vlog today. Get ready to go, you know, be with Tanya and stuff tonight, and you can enjoy your afternoon. But I was laying there, and I was so cozy talking to Mr. Boo Radley. So I was like, hey, Boo Radley, you want to lay down and sleep for a little bit longer? And, of course, he said yes. <laughs> It's always Boo Radley's fault. It's not my fault if we sleep in. It's always Boo Radley's fault. So, um, so yeah, so, uh, I went back to sleep for a little bit longer and then woke up a couple hours later, but still was, like, fully rested, got a lot of sleep, and like I said, I think I needed it. Each time that I came back to bed, like, I fell asleep, like, right away. It was crazy. So, I don't know if that means I needed it or what, but... Um, and then tonight, going to the meeting with Tanya, which I'm really excited about. Excited to see Tanya. Excited to, um, we invited her to go to this thing tomorrow night, too, but she, she said she, she couldn't, and she had some other stuff going on. So anyway, excited to see Tanya tonight. Excited to go to my meeting, see some of my friends, and, um, I don't know, maybe get a fountain pop on the way home. Now, my plan tonight is to not take a nap and not try to lay down. My plan tonight is to, um... Caroline's not picking me up. Maybe it is our neighbor dog, because now Boo Radley's barking. Arr! Arr! When I do that to him, he think, he doesn't think it's funny. He'll, like, come over here to the door watch, because he'll hear me, and he'll be like, are you making fun of me, Dad? Um, I wonder if Boo Radley is barking now because he stopped. If he was, like, telling a story, and then he stopped, and Brad was like, no, we wanted to hear the end of the story. See, I always wonder what's going on, right? It's Boo's fault. Um, but when I come home tonight, I am not... Now, watch. If I will vlog tomorrow, and I end up saying I took a nap or something, right? Or went to bed early. But my plan, as of right now, is to um, not go to bed early tonight and not to take a nap when I get home. It is to... Um, watch I, first i want to watch dragula and then i want to watch rupaul's drag race like an episode or two and then i want to watch the 90 day fiance well no then i want to okay dragula and then below deck mentor i'm so excited to watch shows tonight you guys have no idea i'm like so excited just to make some coffee have a diet coke just, or my fountain pop if i get one on the way home just relax and just sit in that chair and just like zone out so i'm gonna watch dragula that's first because i'm most excited to watch that then i'm gonna watch below deck mediterranean do I have anything else coming out tonight? Oh, welcome to Plathville's on tonight, but I don't care if I watch that tonight or not. And then, um, I think it's the only other show that I have Monday or Tuesdays that's coming out. Welcome to Plathville's tonight, Blow Decks, yes, last night, Mediterranean. See, I'm twisted because I'm still thinking mixed up because of Big Brother, I always think it comes out on Tuesdays, but it's, and Sundays and Tuesdays, but it's not coming out anymore because it's over. So, um... Which, by the way, I thought it was so crazy that they were hanging out so long together um, before going home to their families and friends. See, there's Mr. Boo Radley. He's like, now nah, who's barking at me? <laughs> but at the same time, I was kind of jealous. I was like, that looks like so much fun that they were all hanging out with each other and stuff. So anyway, Miss Felicia's son was there, and they were all hanging out having a good time together and stuff. So um, I think it's cool that, like, even though they were, like, lying to each other and playing in alliances and stuff, that they all get along and they're, like, good friends, you know, after it's over. I think that's cool. Um, I think that's testament to that, you know, people can be friends and go through something like that. And it's a shared experience. You know, it's the whole idea of the sinking ship, that when you go through something together, it's a shared experience that only you guys share together, not, you know, unique experience. So, yeah, so... Um, Dragula, Below Deck Mediterranean... 
I might then actually, what I might do is, because all the other shows that I have to watch are shows that Alex and I have to watch together, like House of Villains. So I might then watch the 90 Day Fiance. Part of the problem is 90 Day Fiancés are an hour and a half long without commercials. That's a long show to watch. <laughs> When you're not even that much into the couples anyway, but I need to get caught up on it. I'm not stopping watching it, so I need to get caught up on it. So I may then watch those and get caught up on it if I still have some time watch an episode or two of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. So that's kind of my plan tonight. I also need to start start Thousand Pound Sisters. Oh my lord, I got so many shows to watch. So, so little time, so many shows to watch. Anyway, I know this is only at 20 minutes, but I wanted to put up something tonight for you guys to watch, and um, I just wanted to have something up there. So, like I said, I don't think that I'll be vlogging or filming any other videos tomorrow. I have no plan to do it right now. So, like I said, unless I would get home really, really early. But even then, I think I'll just take the day and relax. Um, and I may also take Thursday or Friday and just relax. Um, I've been filming like a lot of videos this month already, so I may do that. Plus, so many of you are like so encouraging of like, just take a day off, Peter, just enjoy a day or whatever. So we'll see. We'll see how I feel. Um, I may just take a, a light rest of the week off. Actually, I was talking to my sponsor last night about possibly, because like Alex doesn't want to get up really late and go Black Friday shopping on Thanksgiving night. Tawny doesn't want to do it. Um, uh, and she has to work on Friday anyway. And so, um... I was talking to my sponsor last night because she's like a night owl like me. And she's like, yeah, I'll come pick you up and we'll go get coffee. And we can go to Edinburgh if you want to because I want to do the outlet mall in Edinburgh. And I was like, okay. And um, she just got a new sports car and she's real excited about it and stuff like that. But it won't be here in time for all that. But anyway, um, she's real into sports cars. She watches the Indy 500 NASCAR. She watches all that kind of stuff. So she's like, yeah, she's like, if you want to go shopping, Black Friday shopping, like real late at night on Thanksgiving night, we can do that. And I was like, okay, so we might do that. We haven't like set that plan in place yet. And last night, Alex and I scheduled a few trips, planned them, got them all scheduled away and got our ultra music fest festival tickets for next year and really excited about that. So yeah, so we've got some things coming up that we're looking forward to mostly in 2024 and um yeah i'm really excited about that that's what we did when he came home last night was we got all that situated and scheduled and stuff so did all that and yeah i think that's i think that's it so anyway i'm gonna get off here now and start getting ready to go to my meeting with tanya jean i'm really excited i haven't seen tanya in like two weeks i am so excited to see her and I miss her like crazy, even though we talk on the phone like all the time, but I like miss her like crazy. So I can't wait to see her tonight and some of my other friends. And I think it's the reconnection that I need. And then to come home and just relax. Oh, by the way, I am, I had started um, Kitty Genovese, which is the October book for True Crime Book Club. So I'm gonna listen to some of that tonight too, probably like a half an hour or an hour of that. So I can get through that and finish that and then finish the September True Crime um, book and then after that, I don't know if I'm going to finish the Saturday Night Ghost Club. It's real short. It's only like five and a half hours. So with me listening to it at like two, I think I, I, I started listening to it. Well, I did start listening to it. One of the hard things about it was I couldn't listen to it like more than two and two times speed because the narrator is so fast. But it's still only like two and a half hours I would have to listen to. So I might listen to that and then finish it up with um, God Rest Ye Murder Gentlemen, which is the second book for Peter's Book Club for November. And then I'm caught up on all the books. And then go into the Christmas Cozy Mysteries, which I'm very excited about. But I was even like counting down the weeks last night. And I was like, we're literally like six weeks away from Christmas or something like that. Like, I don't have that many weeks to listen to that many Christmas Cozy Mysteries. So I gotta get on it. I gotta get on it right now. I usually wait till like December to start listening to the Christmas books. Um, but I'm not doing that this year. I'm gonna start listening listening to them um, uh, as soon as I get caught up on these true crime books, I think. So I'm real excited about that. But anyway, but I, I want to, if I'm going to listen to Saturday Night Book, um, the Saturday Night Ghost Club, I'm going to read that before God Rest You Murdered Gentlemen, because when I start, when I listen to that, which will be out of all these that I do, after that, I'm going and I'm listening to all the Christmas cozy uh, mysteries for the rest of the year. I've got one Christmas book. Well, I might read those Heartbridge Christmas romances, because I love those too. I've got two more in the series to read. I did a whole booktube video about it. I posted a booktube video on Sunday about my new graphic novel, so I'm reading some of those too, but I don't really count that. Um, I'm reading Orange, and I'm reading um, 
Did I pick one yet to read? No, I don't think I did. So I'm reading Orange, and then I'm gonna start one of the other ones. And then, um, yeah. And so then I'm listening to um, Katie Genovese, which is really good and a very important story as well. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna get off here now, go get ready. I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Tuesday. Um, I know I was doing such long vlogs and now I've done a couple short ones and I won't be vlogging tomorrow. So um, I will miss you guys and I love you. I hope you're having a magically amazing Tuesday. If nobody else has told you this today, I love you and I will see you hopefully on Thursday. I love you guys and I'll see you then. Bye. Love you.